Hello, um, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Intersection. This uh, short video shows you how to use JavaFX within Eclipse IDE. And I will go through the process of associating JavaFX libraries with your project. As you will see in the uh, video, I will first add the runtime components AFX Eclipse to Eclipse itself, and that will be done through Eclipse, and then you will and then you will see me. And step number two is I will install JavaFX on your computer. And these JavaFX libraries are from the internet. I will go to Glue On uh, website and I will install the uh, latest version uh, of these libraries on my on my machine, on my computer. And then the third step, you will see me creating a custom library. And then I will associate the custom li library to the class or the application that I will I will create and then I will correct the path and run it and you'll see the program will run. So let's start. And I have Eclipse opened. And if you can see, if I click on File, No Project, I cannot create JavaFX projects. I can only create Java application projects. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add the plugin that will allow us to add the Java FX. So let me show you how to do that. So let's add the plugin. We're going to click on help and then Eclipse Marketplace. And in the dialog box with the Eclipse Marketplace, let's type in, in the search engine FX and search for that. And here's the EX, EFX Clips, Clips 3.70 install that accept the agreement to add all the components click finish eclipse ask to restart so restart now let's try one more time to create the fx project file no project and as you can see, now we have the folder JavaFX that will allow us to create the JavaFX application. So I'm going to click on the JavaFX. Let's create the project. Let's give our project a name. Hello, JavaFX. And Let's accept these defaults. Next, let's not create a modular info. We don't need that for this application. And select that and then click Finish. And here is our first JavaFX application that's full with errors. So we need to add the JavaFX libraries. And to do this, we go to our browser. Here's my browser window. Let's make it small for your benefit. Then we're going to type in in the Google JavaFX download. Okay, JavaFX download as you see it here in Google and search for that and I'd like to go to JFX glow on and here is the page I'm gonna go for the latest releases is 16 and 17 I'm gonna download this here it is and then now I'm gonna extract it and I extract it to this I extracted it to this folder in my C drive and here are the content. Most important is this lib or library fo folder. So now let's go back to our Eclipse. Here's our Eclipse. And we need to add these libraries to our project. So to do this, we are going to go to Windows. And then we're going to create a custom library. Preferences. If you don't see the user node, just type in user and then that will take you straight to it. So here's the user libraries. Click new. 
and then give your um, custom library a name and then click OK. Any name you want, click OK. Now we are going to add those libraries in our extracted folder. So we click Add External Jars. And here is that folder. And here is the Java FX SDK 17. And here is the library folder, or lib folder. Highlight all of them. And click Open. Apply. All right, so now we added the libraries. We need to associate the our custom class to this project. So we're going to right click, build path, configure, build path. Now make sure to, to click on the module path and add library, user library then select the library you just you have just created click finish apply apply and close and here all the errors are gone let's test here's your window of course you need to check your textbook look at the material that your instructor sent you then you can add a title you can add images you can do so many things with it so here's it's working now thank you don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get all of the updates and have a beautiful day bye bye now